Hello and welcome to LetMeBoreYouToSleep.com This is me live. Yeah, I'm still alive. But I'm actually, actually actually live as in live that makes sense you know what I mean so what I would thought I would do I suppose I need to do my normal introduction is just let you know only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes and I think every time I do a live recording it's kind of a bit of an experiment But I have been moving towards doing this for quite some time. Uh, wanting to, well, it it comes about by being told by, by by by, a few people that actually. Some of you listen to me not just to be bored to sleep, but sometimes for company, um, like an actual radio show. So I have thought that maybe, 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 I could actually sort of create... And this is a perhaps create a regular daily radio show with the same title, Let Me Bore You To Sleep, and with the same kind of content really, but I guess more of it because this will be longer, maybe two hours, possibly three hours. Um, Yeah, possibly three hours. So it's a case of just seeing how it goes and you letting me know how you, what you think. Um, I can't use the normal microphone because that I normally use because that goes into the, the phone and I have to have this plugged in to the electricity socket for the whole time otherwise it will run out it would be okay probably for the first possibly 40 minutes and so I just need to have it plugged in otherwise it will run out and you know there will no longer be a recording or a live thing so I'm sitting at my desk I am I've got my laptop on so you might hear that little bit of a buzzing in the background and that's all that's happening is the computer which is annoying because I don't know why it has to make any noise I've got pr- 
practically no files on the thing no pictures no documents everything's off it's literally just used for editing and then uploading recordings but it still makes a fuss like it I'm working really hard daddy I'm really working hard look at me like no you're not there's three web pages open that's it you know, it's this there's no it's not work. But I shouldn't be judgmental. So I'm live and let's see what is the the link for this the link for this live session. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna so it's a case of posting in a live session every time but no 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 I don't need to do that do I I can just embed the whole podcast into yeah I can just embed the whole podcast embed And play automatically. Start play. When live starts, you can download it, but I won't have the playlist enabled. That way, it will just be the one thing. Yeah. Makes sense to me what I'm saying. Maybe not to anybody else. And I need to share this as well. You know what I mean? I need to... So what I'm going to do, I'm going into the letmeboytosleep.com website. I'm going to make a, a page for... What should I call it? Live? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll just call it live. So pages, uh, add a page, call it live. Mind you, live and live. It's kind of the same word, isn't it? Have you noticed that? Never really understood why. Why? Anyway, so it's live. So let me have a look. Oh, I didn't have onto the website. So I'm going to the website, but that's not going to work because I use WordPress and it means, so I've got a kind of, I know my way around WordPress and how to build sites. So I'm not an expert, but I know how to do it, if that makes sense. Kind of. So once you make a page in WordPress, oh, that's weird. It's uh, the page doesn't automatically become part of the menu. Unless you've got it set up to do that, which I don't. Um, right, so if I just save that, which means if I go to the page, to the website, and click on that now, and so I'm looking at the website now. So 170, let me bore you to sleep, was yesterday. And on the right hand side the, is my is my Amazon wish list, which you might want to click on to treat me to a book because I've been a good boy. 
or there's a, a donate link paypal.me donate link which you can click on uh, if you want to help to cover the costs of this expensive little hobby of mine now I'm going to play this so it's going to be a little bit of uh, weird feedback but just check that it's working okay so bear with me two seconds so it should Yeah, it's playing. Just check that it's working okay. So bear with me two seconds. There you go, look. Oh. Although it's a bit weird, it's probably... Um, the microphone's not as close to my gob as it normally is. So it's... Uh, you know what I mean? It's uh, a bit... Yeah, it's a bit uh, I know echoey. It seems a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit echoey. Echo, echoey, echoey. I can't stop it. It, it, it. Yeah, I've got all this soundproofing foam around half of the room uh, the bits that haven't been savaged by little Andre the furry little sneeze ball let's have a drink that's another thing as well when I do the live recordings I seem to need to drink more I think I might speak a bit too much when I'm live. I'm not sure. So I need to figure out something. So if you bear with me two seconds, I'm going to figure this out. How to make uh, WordPress. I don't want a beaver. Beaver build a plugin. Ah, it's not a landing page, is it? Um, how to make a home page. Home page. Static page. That's what I want. I want a static page. So create a home. Right, here we go. I'm going to do this. So if I do this, then it means that um, I've done it. Yep. So this is creating a static home page for the website. At the moment, it's just, well, not just, but it's a podcast. So you go in there. And it's just a list of episodes and I've got one to 170 170 being at the top this is now 171 so how to so create a home page set a static front page create a front page I don't want to watch a video Create a static homepage. Click on my site. So I'm going to do that then. So click on. So if I go out of there, click on my site. It's all they're all my sites, aren't they? <laughs> right. Okay. So click on. Where's my? Oh, I know. That's it. So I need to go to dashboard. Now this has got to be thrilling for you. You're very, very, very lucky to have me go through this with you. So click on my site. 
wonder where that is then. Click on customize home page settings. Home page settings. Oh, I'm going to get a static page. So my home page is going to be live. And posts page is going to be. Add a new page. Podcast. Add. So hopefully this will work wonderfully. You know, this should be just absolutely perfect. I'm just excited. I'm so excited right now. You wouldn't believe how excited I am. Sometimes it's hard to express the excitement that just flows through my little toes. So front page is... Okay, let's have a look. So I click on that, open that up. So now we're going to look at the website again. So live and the home page are exactly the same page. And it's live. Wow. I and mean, that's cool, isn't it? Now I realise that you're not perhaps seeing it because I've not even promoted this yet. So I am probably one million percent on my own listening to this however I might not be because there is a chance that just due to people listening to stuff that I might have some people already listening to this and I'm wrong there's no chance, nobody's listening yet. I've had one play, which I probably believe was me just then. So the first page is live. And it's what I might do is change that. So I go back. to embed and I will include a playlist and downloads yeah so I think that's good and I have it 200 width minimum height maximum 600 ok so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put this in to the website change edit change the code so that it has so let me all you to sleep Blind. Twelve AM to two to twelve eleven twelve one two three to three PM every week every weekday evening from twelve AM to three PM Let me bore you to sleep live. Yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Let me bore you to sleep live every weekend evening. Now, if 
every weekday evening every weekday evening from 12am to 3pm does that make sense? every weekday or should I just put Monday to Friday from 12am to 3pm live Monday Monday to Friday I can't spell Friday for some reason for Friday Monday to Friday, 12, 12am 12 to 3pm, that's weird though isn't it, it's a 12am, 12am to 3pm UK time, UK time, and then Monday to Friday, I think. That makes sense, doesn't it, to put that afterwards. Live, 12am 12, 12 to 3pm UK time. Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. trying to think should I just put may contain nuts I don't know <laughs> so let me pull you to sleep live 12am to 3pm that's wrong isn't it it's 12am to 3am see I'm glad you're here with me otherwise I'd never get it done 12am to 3am UK time Monday to Friday and I do believe is it so what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of uh, information uh, should I put a paragraph this okay my name is Jason Newland did I say Newland New land, and I present this three hour live show. Um, I have Does this, does this make me a radio producer, or radio presenter, or just exactly the same as what I was before I pressed record? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh. My name is Jason, and I present this three-hour live show. I've been making online recordings since 2006. I'm very regular because I eat lots of potatoes with the skins on, which is very good for your bowels. No, I won't put that. I don't know. Um, I'll just put, I'm just going to put in, please only listen to this when you safely close your mind no your eyes so I'll put that in capitals and I'll put that in in fact what I'm going to do is nothing oops supposed to happen. 
Please and listen, you can safely close your eyes. So that's good. And I don't know what else I should write. I mean, what should I write? Help me out. I don't know. Really don't know. So I'm opening up the page now. Let me bore you to sleep live 12 a.m. to 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. rather UK time Monday to Friday my name is it's, it's got my name my name is Jason Newland and uh, oh yeah I've made a mistake there my podcasts Amazon View Testimonials. You know, this is... I think this is even more boring for me than it is for you. But that's good, because it's supposed to be boring. But blimey. I mean, wow. You know what I mean? Like, wow. it done and add to menu so done that get rid of that podcast should be it so oh dear or oh, all episodes episode So now, it should work lovely. I think it should be fine. Uh, yeah, all episodes, which gives a list of everything, last, whatever. Live goes to the, the live recording. However, however, it's... Uh, is the same page yeah. hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do oh, I'm going to be cheeky here ever so, ever so cheeky playlist enabled so I'm going to get rid of that I'll just copy that and then I'm going to in the live so what is it pages live I'm going to... Oh. Okay. Edit. I change this. Let me boy to sleep live. But then there's home. Ah, oh, I'm just going to leave it. It's easier, I just leave it as it is. So, pods, my podcasts. Podcast page. So, yeah. So, all episodes. My podcasts. 
Websites, contact page, me, 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 home, all episodes. Right. Now, here we go. So it's done. So I can now share it. I can now share it. But I need to change it because it looks rubbish. So I'm going to change the page a little bit. Just make it look a bit nicer. You know what I mean? Let me bore you to sleep. Uh, and I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take that off. Let me bore you to sleep live. Then I'm going to add a heading a smaller heading 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. yeah and hopefully that'll be nice please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and wow now that's amazing that's I think that's what you call groovy more options. I wonder what else I can do there. Uh, nothing. So the page is a bit boring, if I'm honest. It just looks a bit a bit bland. But we'll see. Let me have a look. Let me bore you to sleep live. 12am to 3am UK time, Monday to Friday. My name is Jason Newland and I present this three hour live show. I've been making online recordings since 2006. Please only listen to this when you can safely open your mind. So close your eyes, so that's it. Done. And uh, what I might do now, if I'm able to, I don't know if I'm able to do this is come out of this and if you haven't fallen asleep yet you should have done seriously this is seriously boring really really boring and uh, I'm going to change the 71. I'm just going to put the word live in front of it. And that should do the trick. Save. Hopefully, that should be fine. And now, live. 171, let me boil to sleep. Oh, I changed it. It's the 26th, isn't it? So I need to change the date. 26th of June. 26th of June, yeah. And that is... It is done. And now, I can... Share this. Facebook in fact I wonder I wonder I wonder if I can actually share it share 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 it now no because I don't want to share it yeah, I want to share it, um, the website, not the actual speaker. So I'll share it on a website. If it actually does anything. Come on, Mr. Internet. Come on, don't play around. Give me some honey, honey. Yeah, that's it. That's the way. 
That's it. Keep going. Keep going. I'll just open up a bit. Open. Come on. Come on, this. Yeah, Facebook is open now. Good. It takes ages for a page to open. Can't believe it. You know. It's now, what, 2034? And we're still. do it via Spreaker which I'm okay with I don't have a I don't have an issue with that I like I like Spreaker I like it a lot I really do I'm very very happy with Spreaker it's uh, so where all my podcasts are housed so share it on a page, so I'm going to share it on my, um, this is going to be like, let me bore you to sleep, a Facebook page, and, oh, cool, yeah, that's alright, so it's now, it's now really going well, like, really, if I can share it on Twitter so I can I can do that separate so on YouTube can I share it no I can't share it into episodes Andre stop doing that Try and share it on Twitter. Just watch as the millions of people start to log in, and <laughs> and it, yeah, it's great. It's like wow, you know what I mean? Like whoa, wow. And uh, so far, it's um, yeah, it's really good. got uh, one play so I think that's you know so if you do like this if you you know if you enjoy it and you like what I do then maybe you might like to click the like button because if you're actually listening on Spreaker itself you could if you want to actually subscribe to the Spreaker podcast because that would be wonderful but it is up to you you know I'm not I'm not going to tell you what you should do although of course you should subscribe but I'm not telling you what you have to do but you know you do have to subscribe of course you don't have to but you really do it's a it is a choice there's no choice you just really need to if you want to, of course, subscribe. Oh. So I'm just looking at, uh, looking on Twitter, and there's, uh, 
we can punch in a punch bag. So Ricky Hatton, he was, uh, I think, two-time world champion, welterweight, I think. And he fought Mayweather and Pacquiao. And so, basically, he fought the two best boxers in the world, like pound for pound. Social experiments. This is boxing on BT Sport. Social experiment. If you come across this post, tell us who you think the greatest British boxer of all time is. Do not read the comments before you reply. The greatest British boxer. Um, that's a hard one, isn't it? Because I'm thinking, well... The greatest would be if you go from an achievement which boxer achieved the most, a British boxer, that would be someone that won world titles. Uh, you could say, does it have to be someone that's undefeated? Because if it's an undefeated boxer, then that reduces the list down to only like a handful out of thousands of boxes that Britain has produced over the last you know 120 years so the best I mean, for me the best would be I'd go by excitement factor rather than you know so it wouldn't be someone that's completely not lost a fight if it was someone that's undefeated then that would be uh, Kawasaki yeah, I think he's one of the only boxers to retire as a world champion undefeated and he won world titles in I think two different weights and he retired undefeated so that's something that very few boxers of any weight category have ever done however if you go for excitement in my era my kind of lifespan of interest in boxing would be between the age of probably let's say from the age of 10 to now so that's 38 years. And for excitement, again, there's only really a handful of like real um, people that I would get excited about. I used to get excited about Frank Bruno. And uh, who else? So there's Prince Nassim who's possibly my favourite boxer of all time. And uh, Prince Nassim Hamid, he was phenomenal. He was just, he was only little, like uh, he fought at a very, very low weight, like featherweight, I think. I think he, he might have won titles in two or three weight categories. But he was, he, you know, he punched like he was a heavyweight. And uh, we probably didn't, but you know what I mean? He's, he was just really amazing. And so I watched lots of his fights, although I didn't get to see the end of his career because he was fighting on Sky. I don't mean in the sky, you know, sitting on a cloud or anything, because that would have been weird. Um, but it was Sky Sports, which meant in those days you had to have a satellite dish and be a member of, you know, be a subscriber of Sky Sports. Now it doesn't mean that you can you can 
pay for fights or get a you know a daily pass or a weekly pass for Sky Sports online. It's all a lot easier than it used to be. So if those days had been now, I would have watched Prince Nassim uh, fighting in America and against Kevin Kelly and a couple of other people who he dominated and, you know, won. I think he unified the world titles. So yeah, that, that would have been something that I would have... So he was kind of in my top. He's my... He's in my right hand. So let's imagine um, I've got Nassim... Prince Nassim in my right hand. Um, who else? Nigel Ben was another person that I loved um, for pure excitement, like proper, proper excitement. So he was someone that I'd, I I followed very much and uh, who else people talk about British boxers so if it was American I'd be talking about you know, lots of others but British ones um, I followed Chris Eubank but again Chris Eubank I think really became famous because of Nigel Ben. I think if it hadn't been for his fight with Nigel Ben, he wouldn't have been the superstar he was in this country. Um, he would have been just as good and still would have won world titles and everything, but he just wouldn't have been, wouldn't have had that interest because when he fought Nigel Ben, he first of all he knocked him out he won the first fight that he had so Eubank won that but it was a war it was a proper full on you know and I'm trying to think who, other, who else Baron McGuigan I used to like him Lloyd Hunnigan Lloyd Hunnigan was my, one of my favourites of all time as well. So Lloyd Hunnigan, he went to, it might have been Nevada, it might have been Las Vegas, I don't know. But he went to America and he fought for the Unified World to Eight Championship, like the belts, all of the belts, or three at least, so Unified. And it was Donald Curry. And Donald Curry was classed at that time as pound for pound be best boxer in the world. Above Mike Tyson, above anyone else, he was classed as the best. And Lloyd Hunnigan um, basically mugged him. Yes, it's like they just beat him up. And uh, no one expected it. And then Lloyd Hunnigan became a superstar in this country. And obviously, you know, well known in the whole boxing world as being, at that time, one of the biggest boxing upsets for a long time. It wasn't upsetting for England, but, you know. But it was, uh, he then, he kept it up as well, though. He won the title, and then he just... He was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I actually met him once. I might have mentioned this in the past, but um, I had a job in security back in oh, ages and ages ago. And one of my jobs was at Canary Wharf, which is, it's, 
quite a tall building in the Docklands area of London. I don't know if uh, anyone knows what the Docklands is. By the way, if you hear little noises, it's me. I'm just making sounds. I'm just doing the things, you know. If you hear, oh, if so, I was the security because Canary Wharf housed lots of different companies, but one of the companies it housed was the Mirror Group, which is a, a newspaper. Uh, they also had, I think, the Sporting Life or Racing Life, something like that there. Um, possibly some other magazines and newspapers the Sunday Mirror the Mirror um, but I don't know maybe the Telegraph I can't remember and what else they had is they had a television company, like an actual t television, um, I don't know what you want to call it, a channel, like a whole channel, called Live TV, and basically it was, I think irreverent is a word that would be used for it. It was very, it was funny, but it was um, inappropriate as well. But I love inappropriate, that's one of my favourite things. Uh, just, just find stuff like that funny. And um, I'll give you an example. You can, you can Google this if you, if you have a fancy, fancy it. And basically... to get a bigger desk I'm trying to do stuff here and everyone's getting in the way there is this I can't remember what floor it was let's say the floor 25 and I think the mirror group had about four or five floors. And one of the floors, or maybe two of the floors, is for the TV station. I think just one of the floors. And I think they also had the star as well. Which was a newspaper that had like models and you know, uh, page three girls and stuff. It's like an old, uh, it's an old misogynist tradition in this country. And um, it's, it's, uh, it was really weird because I thought it would be really nice. Just, there was a young man and there were these I'd grown up seeing uh, ladies posing on page three since I was a kid in the newspaper. Um, what was weird is they never they never had it on a Saturday, as if Saturday was the only day that a child's eyes worked. Saturday was the only day that a child could turn a page, count to three. You know, you get, you know, so it's, I used to look at it all the time. I mean, I used to deliver papers, you know. I, I delivered morning papers. The first thing I did was look at page three. I'd look at page one first because I was very news conscious. And of course, I'd, st I'd check all the stocks and shares. And uh, then I'd perhaps look at the the racing form, you know, to see 
the, the horses and the greyhounds are racing to see if there was anything worth betting on, then I'd look at page three. And I'd uh, perhaps decide to search my pockets for loose change for a couple of minutes. <laughs> agent used to think about because he actually had me once delivering adult magazines and it would be wrapped up in like a plastic bag like polythene but see through as if I wasn't able to open up a plastic cellophane cover. Well, I remember uh, delivering papers. I don't know why. I remember it more in the evenings than the mornings because I had, I had every newspaper round going like morning, evening, weekend, everything, uh, monthly, leaflets, weekly, newspapers, delivered thousands, but the only, only newspaper around I didn't have was a Sunday one, and that was for two reasons, and that's my chair creaking by the way, the first reason is my granddad used to buy the Times newspaper on a Sunday and uh, quite often would go around and visit and I'd go around there on a Wednesday and they'd still be reading it like there'd be so many supplements, so many magazines within the Times mag newspaper, literally like maybe six, five or six magazines. There'd be enough there to last the whole week. I mean, you wouldn't just be able to make a paper plane, you'd be able to make a paper space shuttle out of it, you know, or a space station then how would you get it launched because it's paper, it just burn up probably but we don't have to worry about logistics do we, it's not a real thing the other thing is my brother I think he was uh, for, I don't know, something he was doing something and he asked me if I could do his early morning Sunday round for him just a one off just to help and I said yeah and the amount of papers and the heaviness with all those supplements I basically nearly buckled my bike forgetting what I did to my shoulder I literally I had to rest it on the handlebars I didn't have a basket in front on the front of my bike because I wasn't an old lady and I'd it basically bent the handlebars because of the weight and I decided there and then never never ever ever again because sometimes you've got to do that in life there's a line isn't there there's a line and that crossed the line and it wasn't his fault I mean admittedly 
I think I was about three miles away and I could still hear him laughing. So I think he probably found it fairly amusing that I was doing that. But forgetting that and part of it, I... It was good to experience it, to know that I didn't want to experience it, if that makes sense. Sometimes it's good just to have had that experience. So in order to know that, you know what, I don't like this, it's not nice, it's horrible. And uh, so that can be quite good to know, I suppose. But well, I wonder what's happening there. So again, nobody's listening. Oh, come on, someone must be listening. Surely. What I was going to say is, uh, you could send me messages. So on my website, you could, yeah, I could leave a comment box, couldn't I? Um, so you could... Twitter me, it's at Jason Newland, all one word, Jason Newland. You could twi Twitter me and with a comment, or you could, if I added a comment box, or comment, let's have a look, see what's available, add a block. Forms, comments, uh, contact, maybe. But that would be an email. But that's still okay. No. No, it's a comment, really, isn't it? Let's have a look if there's plugins for comments. See, nowhere else will you find a website or like an online thing. a live recording or live broadcast where the person is actually in time building the website which you're listening to the live recording on. Now that's just strange. But it's alright as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's kind of okay. You know, strange kind of way. I need to make some, I'm going to get rid of categories because that's not useful. Comments. Yeah, comments will only come up if there's posts. So comments are on posts. So I need to look into the plugins. Add a new. And just see comment. Let's see what comes up there. Comments, DW Discuss, Ajax powered real time comments designed to extend WordPress native comments, custom comment forms and fields. Um, WP Facebook comments, comment content pages on your. I don't know about that one. So, subscribe to comments reloaded. Fancy comments WordPress. I just want like a basic WB comments, you know, just WordPress comments. I don't want anything fancy. You know what I mean? Though a Facebook comment that might be interesting. Facebook that said 10,000 active installations, but the WordPress. 
WordPress social share, social blogging and social comments plugin, super socializer, the unique social plugin to let you integrate social login, social share, meh, 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 meh. Um, I just want something simple, you know what I mean? Just something simple, easy, very easy to use. Very easy for everybody involved. I don't want complications. Too much complications already. Brings um, body press avatar profile page. Akismet. Akismet? What on earth is that? Comments WP discuss features. Brings our fastest comment and experiences. Oh dear. I'll install it and see if it works. It might not. It might. I might care. I might not. I don't know until I try. Sometimes trying is all you can do. So let's have a look. See if I've had any... Zim zum zum. Limited time offer. Okay, here we go. Sign in. Oh dear. This gives you an idea, okay, of the type of things that I. offered so okay let's have a look a limited time offer a 30% discount is the best way to give your show some edge you'll get unlimited storage space 24 7 live broadcasting option um, see the details and it's get the offer you know how much they're going to want to charge me for that it should be £120 a month If I pay it yearly, it should be £120 a month. They give me a discount, so it's $84. So it's $120, $84, which is what about 70 say £65, six, something like that. And if I did it yearly, it'd be $1,200 or $840 with the discount. And that gives me unlimited storage, which would be great because I'm nearing the end of my storage. I'm nearly, but I can't afford that. That's like loads of money, loads, way too much, way too much wonga. So, no, no, not happening. I can't do it. And not do it. So, uh, okay, let's go back to the plugin, see whether or not. So, pages, 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 comments. Um, okay. Settings, tools. Okay, so let's have a look, see what's 
change because there might be a comment section now on the front page, possibly. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I'm going to need to add it on. So let's have a look at the pages. See if comments comes up. So that'd be a widget, wouldn't it? Would that be a widget? Latest comments. No. No, that's not happening. Embeds, form, Twitter, SoundCloud, College Humor, Kickstarter, Mixcloud. No. Common blocks, ninja forms, paragraph, T for heading, image, gallery, list, audio, file, formatting, me, 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 me. layout elements. No, it's not happening. So let's have a look. And see what else I can do. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Ah, oh, okay. I know. I know. We're going to look at the default form. See, I don't need, I don't want email. Allow guests to comment. I don't care about email and stuff like that. So I can get rid of that. Just let people comment. Get rid of that. So name, name, field enabled. Email. No, don't need that. Code capture. Do not need that. Website. Do not need that. Post comment submit button. Yes, that's it. I don't need lots of information from people. So I'll just update, update. Let's see if there's a short code for this. So I know it is. Just go back forms. Oh. Doesn't seem to be. If I put in settings. to have a like a chat feature you know where I can actually talk to people but at the same time do I really want to I don't know but Twitter at Jason Newland you can uh, just tweet me there and I'll be able to 
I'll comment. I'll actually, you know, read it out. Or, if you want, you can uh, send me a message, email me, jasonnewland at hotmail.co.uk and I will read that out as well. Or you can go to my Facebook page and just leave a message there on the uh, Yeah. Do I need to read out my Facebook page? I don't know what it is. I don't know. How am I supposed to know all these things? I can't know everything. Isn't it enough that I know most things? See, I would suggest to go to my Let Me Boy to Sleep page, which is, which all I'll do is I'll put that onto the page, I'll put that onto the, so you can leave a comment. What am I so excited? Post comments, send comments, send comments, send me comments while I am live and I will read out, respond. Send me comments while I am on there. Should I said whilst? Send me comments whilst I am live and I will read out and respond live on air during broadcast. That's kind of the same sentence, isn't it? It's not live on air and during broadcast. Sounds like the same thing. just me maybe I'm being finicky finicky panic panic panicky panicky one of them so send me comments from live on there you can Profile. So twitter.com Jason Newland. Well, that's weird. I just copied that and it didn't work. Copy, copy. Well, let's go back. Let's 
should work. Okay, that's good. And then email. Is that a link? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's classed as like an ordinary link or uh, don't matter anyway. So you can contact me on my Facebook page you can contact me on my Twitter or on my email yeah yeah baby that's the one that's the one how else there's no other way is there? there's no other necessary way to be contacted um, email address That's fine. Wow, look at this. Hot dating. So my newest email. So two it says to Jason Newell seventy four at hotmail .co uk. That's not my email address. Uh, and it's from Hotmail Dating and the email is adminis adminazy -e at zero zero dot mn and it says and the email address at the web address is donna dash girls dot space forward slash best of uk warning this website can tell, contains explicit pictures videos stories images or sounds you must be 18 year Jason Newell 74's of age or older to enter if you are under 18 or if this or if it is forbidden to view this content in your community you must leave this site leave my site it says here to stop receiving emails, please write us or email us at the following address. Oh, it's so funny because the email address it's got is Jason Newell seventy four at xxxcupid.com. That's not their name. You know how it's the Direct Engineering Limited. Poland, Warsaw, Chowalska, 12 to 44. And it said stop list at directengineering.biz. See what's interesting, right? if I go to this, directengineering.biz, I bet you it'll be a website completely different. Nothing to do with any weird pictures. I'm going to go there now doesn't even exist no the website doesn't exist <sighs> oh no I found it it's uh, it's funny yeah direct engineering dot net so that might not be this it, that was the option that I had you want to go to this website instead it's direct engineering the first words a professional approach innovation and distinctiveness mm, it could be really good pictures a solid future so there's a picture of a bridge that's quite firm and uh, whoa this is good stuff. So I, when I first saw the advert, I thought a spam. But now I'm looking at the website and it's, I'm really getting hot. Like, contact us. Direct engineering.
Engineering in Unit 9, Napier Industrial Estate. Oh, oh it's got LinkedIn as well. Mm. Oh, it's welcome. Direct Engineering provides a range of services covering the design, manufacturing, or supply, installation, and maintenance of various engineering products and services, including mechanical engineering. Fittings, fabrication, ducting, platforms, conveyors, and other ad hoc component manufacture and maintenance. Oh, we are committed to satisfying the need, satisfying the need of our customers and other interested parties whilst maintaining high standards in quality, environment, safety and health. Our aim is to continually improve business performance whilst reducing risk to our employees, customers, the environment others that may be affected by our activities. Sounds really good. I'm, you know, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm really, really very pleased right now. So I'll get rid of that. Twitter no one's contacted me on Twitter, but that's okay. And what's it clicking on this, isn't there? I don't know. Why can't we have a laptop with a like a mouse? You know the you know the finger mouse thing that you like move your finger around on. Why can't that just be silent? Why does it have to click? That's just the question. Send me comments while I'm live and I'll read out and respond live on air during broadcast. You can contact me. That's what I'm going to do. You can contact me on the following. Yeah. <sighs> So I've got, wow, can you believe this? On the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast, I've got 181 hours and 29 minutes of me talking absolute rubbish. 181 hours. I mean, that's... think if you worked 40 hours a week that's four weeks worth of working full time to listen to this 
to listen to my podcast plus another 21 hours if you worked 40 hours or and this is going to be so obvious If you listen to one every day, it take you 171 days, which is what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So yeah, it's nearly six months. Six months of listening to a different recording every day would give you this would give you what I don't know I don't know it give you something but I don't know what so what I'm thinking is I'm just going to change the time to 12 a.m. Okay. So I'm going to come live at 12 a.m. UK time, Monday to Friday. see how I get on because I think that works that seems to work for me and also if I do it for an hour I could use the microphone so I wouldn't have to have the phone look you know plugged into the socket I could also use my tablet don't need to use the phone. I can use a, you use the uh, tablet and the app on there in order to go live, and then I could use the there's got to be ways where people can talk to me. might even be a case of using the Alexa because if you've got an Alexa you can actually talk to someone else that's got an Alexa and it doesn't cost anything I think uh, as you've got internet I'm interested in looking into that because it's uh, it's a hidden little gem there because potentially you might be able to not even have an Alexa but just have the Alexa app on your phone which might be all you need so I'm kind of interested in that but I'm also very aware, very aware, that I need to eat. So, this recording has gone on for, I don't know how long. doesn't say, doesn't say on the thing. No, let's have a look. 
Um, no, it doesn't say. It says two hours ago, but it wasn't. It was less than that. That I started. If you are listening, maybe leave me a little comment uh, on the page because there will be uh, you know you can leave a message on Facebook or you know wherever you want and uh, you know Facebook, Twitter, or my email, and I will reply to you verbally when I do my next live broadcast which will be tomorrow at midnight UK time or 12am UK time tomorrow and that as they say in Mexico is the end of the show I guess they say the same everywhere the end of the show it's not really a show is it it's more just me rambling on but I kind of don't want to be sitting in front of a computer screen when I'm doing this I'd like to just be a bit I think if anything, yeah, I like the freedom of not doing anything, just being able to just, you know, be, be, be at one, kind of. So it seems to be okay, the website's up and running, which is nice. Be here again tomorrow. So that would be Wednesday, the twenty seventh of June. At midnight. So it's like basically it's the first first minute of the, the next day, isn't it? So tomorrow night, midnight. Midnight UK time. I'll be here. And it might only last an hour, but that's fine. I don't think it. I don't think at this stage in my, uh, you know, what I'm doing. I don't think I can. I don't really want to do like a really long recording or really long live session because I do have other recordings to make. Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, the Sleep Weekly, <laughs> Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, yeah, the Sleep Hypnosis ones and the Hypnosis for, hip, Sleep, was it, Relaxation Hypnosis for Anxiety and Panic Attacks, so I've got a few podcasts that need my attention. I'll probably do a couple before I go to bed. It's now 14 minutes to 2 a.m. UK time. So I should say thank you and I shall speak to you tomorrow. See you here live. And if you are here, then please let me know. And uh, that's it. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.